Good morning, everybody. So on this trip, there's going to be a little bit of a lot of things happening. One of the biggest things is we're going to have to check out our rudder. When we moved this boat from West Palm to here, the rudder had this knocking sound, so it's loose in some way. Okay, so I'm going to be disassembling it, um, at least the top end of it where the quadrant is, and trying to figure out why it is making this knocking sound. Um, and then from there, it's just going to be sort of some odds and ends, you know, sort of thing. There's loads of things that need to be done on this boat. Um, there's a smaller amount of really high priority projects, and there's a tremendous amount of lower priority projects. So, you know, we're going to make some progress on a variety of things on this trip. So. pretty good huh I don't know if you remember or not but the reason we took these off in the first place was because they had the boats old name engraved into the side of it so we took them home I filled in the old name I cleaned them up I gave them a coat of epoxy and then uh, painted over the top of that and uh, actually oiled these pens too so yeah I think that's looking pretty nice and there's the there's the matching board on the other side too pretty salty all right, next I'm going to be removing this engine control box cover thing. I'm going to rebuild this. It's actually in pretty bad shape. Uh, you can't even really see through the glass. The wood is broken down here at the bottom. It sticks out about twice as far as it really should. And I need it to actually go down a bit further because I'm going to be mounting a temperature gauge down here and also an engine kill switch down here as well. So I'm going to take this fella off so that I can take it home and build it back mo' better. That little piece is done, I'll take it back home with me and yeah, when I bring the new one back, it's going to be 100 times better. All right, well, the help has arrived. I probably shouldn't say the help. All right, so I have some help today. And it is, look at that, it is Mr. Mike reporting for duty. Yes, sir. This is uh, the monstrosity that was mounted on this thing that swings around. And uh, I don't know if you remember or not, but, um, you know, this thing was kind of cobbled together. This is kind of a collection of different instruments and such as that. But, you know, it's just this big, funky, weird thing. And if you remember on the back, uh, there's actually Minute Made caps are actually part of this whole design. But anyways, we're doing away with this whole thing. So Mike is dismantling that. These were extra, weren't they? I didn't pay extra for those, no. Is that what you're saying? Yes. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm going to give you open mic for Mike. You can say anything you want. So say it wisely. All right, anything you want to say? It sure is hot in Florida, I wanted to tell you folks. <laughs> yeah. He has that air conditioner going, but I think if he carries it around with him because it's not getting over where I am right at the moment. No, I think he picked the hottest spot in the boat. <laughs> but, I, you know, he's coming along pretty good. Uh, he's just got about two or three more things, and hopefully he'll be ready to... Ready to splash? Get the family in the boat and get out to the sea. That's right. I'm glad you're here helping, Mike. Yeah, I appreciate it. I, it's always fun to help somebody who's got a goal and mm -hmm. a plan. Yeah, and, so. and that needs a lot of help. <laughs> yeah. When did you pick the wrong birds? <laughs> yeah, right. It's a madman taking apart the work of another madman. Yes. You promised you wouldn't start any fires, so... <laughs> Alright, so here we are back here in the aft cabin, and this is the steering quadrant on our boat. Now a problem that we had when we were moving this boat from West Palm to Green Cove was that the quadrant was basically clunking back and forth just about, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch in either direction. It wasn't a whole lot of a movement, but it is enough that, uh, you know, I want to take this thing apart and see if we can figure out a way to shim the shaft to try to take that play out of it. 
So we're going to be disassembling this quadrant, taking it off of there, taking this seal off of here, and uh, just seeing what's going on under there. No wonder. That's why they have that cut right there. Mm-hmm. I got it. Quadrant's oh, off. Not that much room to put a shim down there. No, there isn't. The knock is still there. That's one of two. Mm -hmm. And there's the other one right there. All right, so there were two problems back here. Before we took it apart, there were two problems. There was a leak. And there was a knocking sound. The leak, I believe, was coming from this stuff up here and the flax. You know, I'm going to replace this flax and that's probably going to solve the leak. However, the knocking sound is basically between the post and the, uh, you know, the boat here. You, know, you can see it moving, you can hear it. I don't know what to do about this knocking sound. The space between, you know, the rudder shaft and whatever you call this fiberglass piece is just micro like probably less than a sixteenth of an inch hmm not certain what to do about that just yet but we'll figure it out all right guys we're back at it again today uh, Mike is still here helping me out and we are working on navigation lights how's it going Mike all righty oh my goodness Mike sorry that the, the camera is fogging up from being in the, the air conditioner back there, so I can't even see you. Really? You're just a you're just an animated blob. I think we're making. And then we dropped it over. Sorry, it's so blurry. Nobody saw it. Oh good. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Now we can see you clearly. Yes. I've had the epiphany that so far I've been working way too hard on this boat. <laughs> this whole time I should have just had a mic. <laughs> Things would have been so much easier. Everybody needs a mic. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> we now have running lights. Much better than these. That one had a wasp nest in it. And this one just didn't work. All right, so we've made it this far with uh, the Bimini Dodger frame and all that stuff so far. And uh, it's tricky, it's a bit of a puzzle because we had the bows and uh, a couple of the connectors were attached to the bows, but uh, it's been hard to figure out how it goes exactly. The story with this canvas is that it actually came from a sister ship, a different West Sail 42, uh, and it's never actually been completely installed on this boat. So we're trying to figure it out and make it work. And yeah, uh, I haven't actually heard any profanity from Mike so far. Well, the sister boat shot, sunk, and the only thing that was sticking above the water was the bimini. So that's how Ben got this bimini was he sailed up next to it and purloined the new bimini for our new boat here. That's why we have no clue how this goes together. You know, it seems like Mike's sense of humor is a lot like mine, and I'm just picking up on that. So I want to apologize to what I've put my audience through for all these years, because now I know. The bimini is kind of up, folks. That only took, what, five, six hours? <laughs> We've got a bit of a problem, and it, this we, we knew about this from the very beginning, but the bimini is taller than the boom gallows are, so the bimini actually needs to come down by six or eight inches in order for the boom to sit in the boom gallows. So we're gonna end up having to shorten these, these uh, supports back here somehow to make that work. 
Yeah. But I think what we're going to do yeah, is good. just uh, just basically live with it for this season because I don't think we want to start messing. To, to raise this whole thing up would require raising the boom, possibly cutting the sail, raising the bimini, raising the dodger, raising the boom gallows, and that's just a lot of work yeah. that I just don't think we want to mess with right now. Whew. All right, guys, this trip is drawing to a close. It was an extremely productive trip. I mean, uh, Mike and I, we made a humongous dent in the to-do list. So thank you very much, Mike, for helping me out with all the boat projects. Thank you, Rhea. That's Mike's wife. Uh, thank you, Rhea, for uh, giving me coffee in the morning, sandwiches for lunch, and cooking dinner at night. I mean, this has actually been a really great trip. Um, in fact, like, I actually... You know, uh, these trips by myself, I, I kind of dread them a bit because it's just me alone at the boat filming and, you know, it's just kind of this solo adventure. But uh, this trip was actually really nice because I got to hang out with those guys and, you know, eat meals with them and such as that. So this has been a really pleasant and productive trip. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is just uh, getting everything cleaned up, put back together, and I'm doing some preparations because on the next trip is going to be Tamby molly and me we're going to be here all three of us on the boat for the first time together so i've got this area all cleaned out molly's going to be able to sleep right there we don't yet have her v-birth completely put together but we're getting there and i uh, had to migrate everything that was over there kind of over here and it actually that looks like a humongous mess i'm sure but it actually is fairly organized yeah so just making room cleaning up packing things away and getting ready for the ladies to be here on the next trip. So, I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Did you enjoy the video? We hope so. It was a pretty good video, I think. What do you think, Tammy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah, think? Good. Okay, yeah. all right, good. We have one new patron we want to welcome on board, and that is Carrie. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carrie. We really appreciate you becoming a new patron. Now we have something from our Amazon wish list as well. So check this out. This fantastic box from our Amazon wish list is from Astrid and Scott. This is a wall mountable computer desk. Now this is going to be basically my editing station. Thank you so much. This is going to directly help uh, edit the videos. So thank you so much, Astrid yeah. and uh, Scott. So thank you for watching this week's episode and thank you for all of your generosity and kind words that you always send to us in the comments. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye. That was really well done. Thank you.